Hi everyone, today we want to demonstrate how to create an infrared receiver that draws no power whilst listening. We'll demonstrate this on a TV that uses 0.4 watts to continuously listen to see if you are going to press your remote control. That is almost 5 AA batteries worth of electricity per day. By the way, the TV's mains adapter also uses power, about 0.1 watts, and some reactive power, but we are not doing anything about that. The current that you can see here is the current flowing out of the adapter and into the TV. You can see it is practically zero. I can now use the remote to turn the TV on. In fact, what I am doing in this rough mock-up is I'm first activating our zero power receiver, which wakes up the TV's standby receiver. Now the TV is operating as normal and I can turn it on as normal. It would be nice to make this a seamless process, and we would need to run the standby receiver from a modern microcontroller that boots up more quickly. So we're going to show you how it works now. Here you can see what's inside the TV. This is the main control board. This is the infrared receiver. And we modified this uh, board by adding a switch to the main power supply rail to the TV. Which uh, This switch is controlled by infrared receiver and it turns the TV off. I'm going to show you now what's inside the, our receiver. When you press the on button in the remote control, the LED inside generates an infrared signal which is then picked up by these photodiodes. You can see the photodiodes here. The photodiodes generate a tiny amount of current which powers up this chip. And the chip is here. The chip then activates this switch and turns the TV on. The clever thing about this chip is that it can be powered up by very low currents, below 20 picoamps. Here's some information for the experts out there. This circuit demonstrates that our chip can be powered by photodiodes under weak illumination. However, if you want a reliable infrared detector, depending on your application, you need to add some things to this circuit. First, you need to be able to differentiate between ambient daylight and the pulsed light from your remote. We've used a simple optical filter here, but you would need something more intricate and it needs to be passive or the system won't be zero power. We have had good results using resonant circuits, or even better, take a look at the anti-parallel diode arrangements in Terence Schmidt's 1989 patent on ambient light rejecting quad photodiode sensors. Also, because our ship mustn't see more than 5.5 volts at its output, we have used a voltage divider to protect the chip from the 12 volt rail. Had a 5 volt rail been available, we could have eliminated this divider, leaving only the sub 100 picoamp leakage through the output of the voltage detector chip. The Zener diodes in this circuit are there to provide a bit of leakage so that the input of the detector does not stay charged once the infrared signal disappears. Our chip can be used to eliminate the standby power in many other things, so if you have any requests, please let us know in the comment section. We are going to upload much more videos in the future, so please keep an eye on our channel.